Good morning. Uh, today I'm going to do a little project that involves opening up my service panel, which is uh, actually brand new. It got replaced as part of a solar system that was installed. And uh, because of that, I'm going to install a product. Let me just get it over there. I'm going to install this little product here. <clears throat> right. It's called the Bridea Power Return Alarm. Now what this is going to do, it's actually going to uh, sense when I'm running on generator and the power is off to the to the main feed outside, out, out to the street. And when that street power comes back on, uh, this is going to sound a loud alarm. And that loud alarm is going to alert me that the power is back on and then I can go and uh, get my generator shut off. So again, this is the Bridea power return alarm. So. The first step in the process, and I just want to say first that if you're not comfortable touching an electrical panel, don't do it. It's just uh, it's just going to be bad news for you. I'm comfortable working around electrical panels, and I don't mind opening them up. So uh, the first step is you're going to use a flat head screwdriver in this case, and there's six screws on this particular panel here. So we're going to remove the screws one by one, and then we're going to carefully get rid of the, uh, we're going to pull the panel off. After I do that, I'm going to pause the video, actually read the instructions, and then uh, I'll start the video again, splice it together, and then we'll know that uh, we'll know where I'm going with it. probably have to punch something out in the side of the panel. It's fairly easy. <clears throat> I'll take you through each step that I have to do piece by piece so that you'll see how I uh, get it done. Uh, if you happen to like the videos that I that I put, put online, whether they're silly or that you hate them or you don't want to see them anymore or whatever, uh, do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe button. That way, if you do happen to like my videos uh, and you want to even hit the bell, that's fine, but I don't care about the bell so much. Uh, that way, you'll know when I post new videos and you might get an alert. It might be something of, of value to you, and then again, it may not. So this is the sixth screw coming out of the panel. I'm kind of just bracing it with my arm just so it doesn't fall down, because that would not be cool. All right, the panel is loose. I'm going to take it and I'm just going to pull it straight away. Okay, and that is it. That's as tough as it is to remove your panel. Now I'll take you in here a little bit. As far as what I know on this, is obviously these are the mains up here, okay? And we are going to, uh, and there's a 110 on this leg and there's a 110 on that leg that provides 220 on these breakers coming down here. So I think what has to happen is we have to wrap something around one of these leads on either side. I don't think it matters which one it is, but we're gonna wrap that uh, sensing wire around there. And at this point, I'm gonna cut off. I'm gonna go away and read the instructions, and then I'm gonna come back and then we'll start this up again. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm back for step two of this now. On this particular alarm, you have a ground wire and a, an activator or a sensor wire, okay? I think it's this white part that gets wrapped around the power lead and it gets secured with tie strips, all right? So first of all, this takes some batteries, okay? And there's a battery cover here, you lift it off and it takes two AA batteries, okay? Pretty simple. I'm gonna take my batteries, which I had in my pocket, AA, AA, and put the batteries in. And that, that's as crazy as it gets right there. So now the batteries are in. And this is on right now. It says system armed. Right. I shut it off and put it back on. See the light come on and tell you it's armed. All right. So I think, the, <clears throat> I think the way this particular unit works is that uh, it, you leave it off, but when you have to turn your generator on, you'll, you'll flip this switch on. 
that activates it, and that will start it sensing the energy return when the uh, power comes back on. So it's not like you're going to sit there waste the battery all the time. All right, so I'm going to put this down here, and I'm going to take a look at these instructions. I thought I brought my glasses with me. <clears throat> Power return alarm is an associated low voltage device, which this is, intended to come in contact with insulated conductors feeding a residential or light commercial load center. And that's the thing we took the cover off of. Uh, take all appropriate safety measures during installation. Install two fresh AA batteries. Locate a 0.4 inch hole within 20 inches of the incoming utility power conductors. Uh, that's gonna be no problem, we have that. Feed the flexible cable, the black part, and antenna, the white part, through the drilled hole from the outside. Install the alarm by 3M double-faced adhesive tape or screws. Carefully wrap the 15 inch flexible antenna and a tight coil around one of the main power cables feeding the main circuit breaker. The antenna should be secured in the tight coil in the tight coil with electrical tape or a cable tie. Just remember the line terminals on the be live, so be careful. And once that's on, simply turn the power return alert on off switch to the alarm on position the 100 dB alert will sound because it'll hear the power. Right now it's not sounding. When it's in the on position, it's not sounding because there's no power going through that cable, all right? Install the alarm by 3M double-faced adhesive tape or screws. So in here, in the box, we have the 3M tape that it talked about and the cable tie to secure the, the white part of what they call in the antenna to the, uh, the conductors. So let's take this out. This is all good stuff. This uh, this tape is really good. I'm gonna take it off of here. I'm gonna put it on. <clears throat> and then we're gonna pull this off when we go ahead and uh, go to attach it to the side of the box. There's a little screw thing here. Like a little eyeglass, they come to a little eyeglass screwdriver. So in this particular case here, there's a couple of holes that I'm gonna poke out because there's some screws underneath these holes. All right, that's that one. That's that one. As you can see, there were two screw holes here. I'm not sure what those are for. Something down the road, no doubt. We got our batteries in. We have this thing shut to off. We have our cable tie that we'll need. And uh, at that point, we're ready to go. I know this is supposed to come off too. I'm not sure exactly what this is all about here. But for some reason, that uh, there's something there. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm going to leave it in place for now. So now at this point, I'm going to go to the electric meter. I'm going to get set up again, and we'll get ready to finish this up. I'm going to finish reading the instructions. I want to find out where this green wire goes. Obviously, it says it goes to a ground, but I want to find out exactly what it's talking about. Stay tuned. Moving on to the next phase, what I figure I'm going to do is I'm actually going to punch this hole out right in the box right here, okay? That's a pretty simple thing to do. I'm just going to get my screwdriver, give it a bang, and that's it. Just wiggle this back and forth a little bit here. 
and it'll be break right off. Of these in the bottom here. I to... All right, the next thing I'm going to get you situated here so we can we can get this moved. We'll bring over this side. Okay. Now I'm going to bring these wires in through that hole that we made. Be right back. All right. What I wanted to do is I wanted to go and get a a knockout connector. It goes in that hole that I tapped on the other side of the panel. So we're going to put this in and we're going to screw this on. going to hit that with a little notch on that with a screwdriver just to make it good. Okay, that's nice and tight now. Let's get you over on the other side. And that's the connector I put in. So I'm going to feed the wire in through here and then we'll tighten this up. So on this particular case here, we're going to feed these wires in and keep them away obviously from the power leads. These are going to come in. I'm going to take them out to the side here. Feed everything in. And then when we're done, we'll probably, probably end up sticking this maybe uh, actually on this board here. That'll, that'll, be, that'll be fine. So we'll just let that hang. I've got to find a, I've got to find a place now to connect this ground. There's a ground bar back in here that I can see. And there is an empty, there is an empty slot in there. So I'm going to loosen that up. If you want to see, I don't know if you're going to be able to see over my shoulder or not, but there's a loose, uh, there's a ground section down here that is not connected. So I'm just gonna loosen that. It's very tight. There we are. And we're going to feed that through that little hole there. I can find it. I'm just going to pause this so I'm not wasting your time while I thread that through the hole. All right, I'm not going to lie, but uh, getting that ground wire in was a little trickier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, for me, uh, the screws were a little tight in the panel because the panel is brand new. So once I was able to get that uh, green wire in there, I just had to keep tightening and tightening. The screwdriver kept slipping. But eventually I, I was able to send it home and everything was all set after that. So in this case, 
The next step is to wire this, what they call an antenna, all right? And I'm going to choose to put it on this lead coming into the house. Now, what you might notice different here on my panel is I have these connectors, and that's from my solar system, okay? That's the feed from the solar system outside, and that's why you see those up there, all right? Other than that, it's a 200-amp service. And what, what, I, what I've chose to do in this case is I'm actually going to use two tie strips, uh, one to start it and then one to finish up the uh, the loop, okay? So my first my first step is I'm just going to get this wrapped around here and get it started before I tighten it up. All right, just like just like you see here, right? I'm going to take my I'm going to take my antenna. I'm going to put it in here until it stops, right? Right where the black is. And then I'm going to tighten tighten down on it. All right? Now that's tightened there, all right? And now I'm going to take this antenna I'm going to wrap it around, around this. That's one loop at a time, nice and tight. Okay, it's like threading, almost like threading a needle. All right, just keep your hands away from the power; you'll be all set. All right, just like that. You see how it goes? Now I've never done this before, but to me, this is not rocket science. It's kind of what the directions tell you to do, and it's pretty simple. Right. All right, there we go like that. We might be able to get one more wrap out of this, and that's it. Yep, one more wrap, and that's it. All right, that's that's the end of it. Oh, I just want it to be neat. Let's get this up here, pull it tight. All right, one more wrap, and then we'll put the other tie strip on it. That's good, just like that, okay? We're going to get another tie strip in place, tighten it up, and that's going to be into this project. Because I got it backwards. And that's it. <clears throat> I'm just going to get some uh, crimps. I'm going to dress that off, get rid of the tie strips, and I'll be right back. All right. I got a pair of little snips. I'm going to get rid of these tie strip ends. And now, right now we're about 99% done. So at this point here, I'm going to put this cover back on. All right. And we'll screw, we'll screw the cover back on and get it secure. I'm just going to put a couple of screws in my mouth here, which are... Let's get ready to put things back together here. Okay. There we go. 
I'm just going to put these first two screws in, and then I'll close the panel and put the rest in, and then we'll secure the box on the side and tighten up the clamp. Right. That's it, the panel's all buckled up now. Over here, I'm just gonna tighten this up and figure out where I'm gonna put this first. That's probably a good enough place as any right there, okay? So I'm gonna take this tape off the back, fasten it. I don't know if I can fasten it to the side of the panel here, but sure. No, that won't fit. Just working on getting the glue uh, the cover off the adhesive. All right, it's ready to go. <clears throat> I think in this particular case, I'm just gonna put it right here on the wood and probably right here. All right. No, it was on a screw. All right, here we go. And then up here, we're going to tighten this up. And that glue doesn't look like it's going to be too good. I might like to leave that hanging and come back and put a couple of screws in it. Yeah, see, that's not that's not that's not too good. So one thing I'm not going to recommend is the uh, the adhesive on this. Hopefully they can do a little better job. But uh, I see no reason. There's probably a way to open this up and use these two screw holes, or you can screw it right to the wood. But let me just get this tightened up up here and be done with it. Pretty much this bracket here is just to stop anybody from poking their little fingers in there or getting getting curious and sticking something in the hole. So it's also electric code. So that's it. That is the Bridea power return 
alert, all right? I'm gonna turn this on now and it should be about 100 dB alarm. That's what that sounds like. All right, so that's it. I'll try sticking it on the wood one more time. I don't think I'm gonna have much success. If you happen to find my videos informative, uh, please like and subscribe. This was a little longer video than I thought it would be, but I've taken your, oh, see there's, like I said, the uh, the glue is not too good. I've taken it for every step it is installing the Bridea Power Return Alert. So uh, thank you for stopping by. Have a good day and uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you. So why I couldn't leave this, I actually, this little triangle piece slips off the back and uh, I was able to screw that into the wood. So I'm gonna just slide this down on here. All right. And that's it. So again, that's the Bridea Power Return Alert. Thank you.